I like to collect and display the periodic table elements for educational purposes. Number 18, argon. It's not legal or safe to possess pure plutonium metal, but trinitite is a fascinating mineral that contains atoms of plutonium from the first nuclear explosion on July 16, 1945. I obtained this 5.6 gram trinitite sample several years ago from the supplier United Nuclear. I made a previous YouTube video featuring this sample. This video takes a close look at the radioactive and magnetic properties of this particular trinitite sample. The plutonium containing device was placed on top of a 100 foot tower. When it exploded it melted the surrounding sand. Parts of the device and tower structure were injected into the melted sand and became part of the trinitite mineral as it cooled. Many radioactive fission products ended up in the trinitite, but cesium-137, uh, an isotope of uh, cesium, is reported to be the major current source of radiation in trinitite. Iron, primarily from the tower's structural steel, should be a potentially detectable magnetic element in my trinitite sample. This photo was taken a few weeks after the blast. You can see Robert Oppenheimer, General Groves, and others standing on the trinitite surface, examining the remains of one of the tower supports. My trinitite sample has the common green color and a glassy upper surface. The bottom surface, which was closest to the unmelted desert sand, is rougher and shows unmelted quartz grains. Vesicles were formed by gases present in the cooling trinitite. My sample isn't fluorescent, but UV light beautifully highlights the vesicles. Both the top and bottom surface of my sample have a radiation level five to six times background. This is a bit less than my uranium glass candle holder and much less than a small broken shard of a pre-World War II Fiesta Ware plate. A paper sheet has a minimal effect on the trinitite radiation, but both titanium and lead sheets almost completely block the radiation. My trinitite sample is attracted to a magnet, but the attraction is not dramatic, even with a strong neodymium magnet. However, a smaller neodymium magnet revealed a tiny region of my trinitite sample that appeared quite ferromagnetic. A microscopic view of this region clearly shows black material that I suspect is an unvaporized bit of steel from the tower or the device. As I was testing the sample, I noticed something interesting. Humans tend to find human patterns, so I don't attach any mystical significance to what appears to be a ghostly face. But I think the Trinitite face forces consideration of the terrible human consequences of nuclear weapons. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll consider subscribing.